Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday, September 28th. Our scripture reading this morning is Exodus 20, 1 to 4, and 7 to 9. Then God spoke all of these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water underneath the earth. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all of your work. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our devotion is from the Upper Room Disciplines and is written by Autumn Dennis. In this passage, we witness Moses delivering the Ten Commandments to the nation of Israel. When we think of the Ten Commandments, we may remember memorizing them in vacation Bible school or seeing them displayed in front of courthouses as symbols in political battles. For many of us, they've lost their meaning. But the people of Israel, ancient Israel, are hungry to hear a word from God spoken through Moses as they wander in the wilderness toward what God has promised them. The first commandment in today's reading is a declaration of who God is, the God who delivers captives from slavery, God who cannot be replicated or replaced or compared. God's name is in the scriptures, often written as Yahweh, which is unpronounceable and cannot be spoken. Many of the Jewish tradition today begin will spell the word God as G-D to remember this holy, unspeakable name. In not saying God's sacred name carelessly, we remember how to set God apart. The last commandment in our reading today is the commandment to keep this Sabbath day holy and to rest from work on this day. The author once heard a rabbi speak who was asked about why Orthodox Jews refuse even to turn on lights or cook food on the Sabbath day. He said that in essence, keeping Sabbath is not only about working, but also about taking a breath from creating. In order to remember our creator, in not turning turning on lights, We remember the one who said, let there be light. In not working the earth, we remember the one who created the earth. Let us pray. O loving God, help me to remember that you are God and I am not. And help all of us to rest from our creations to recenter on you. In your holy name we pray. Amen. And our closing hymn is, Tell Me the Stories of Jesus. Tell me the stories of Jesus, I love to hear. Things I would ask him to tell me if he were here. Scenes by the wayside, Tales of the sea, stories of Jesus, tell them to me. (laughs) Don't forget to take a day of rest on this day of, first day of the week. Blessings to all. Amen.